All right, guys, we have arrived at the card show. Got myself a hundred dollars budget here, and we're gonna see what we can walk out with. Take you guys along with me. All right, guys, we've made our first purchase of the show. About 15 cards here, talking down to 10. We'll go over that in the video also. Yeah, 
the fear of the real deal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and Tom. So it's sticker is 35. 30, 35. Five. Damn. All right, guys. Successful trip to the card show here. Still left with money in my pocket. It's a good day. Be going over them later. Salute to Hoops guys. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome to the Salute to Hoops channel. We got another day and another video. As you guys saw in the first half of the video, I went to a card show this morning. The same, uh, the same card show that I went to uh, last month. It's every first Saturday of the month. So I figured... Uh, I had the day off work today. I mean, a buddy went this morning, and it was a really good time. Uh, always fun going to those things. Can't wait to go to more of them when life goes back to normal. Also, uh, I wanted to uh, note that uh, me and my girlfriend will be going to the National Card Show this year down in Chicago. Assuming that it goes on. Scheduled for, like, I think June or July, so hopefully life is normal then. And... Uh, I'll be able to have some amazing footage for you guys. Definitely going to have to do some saving up for that because, well, you know, you know how it goes. So before we get into the rest of the video, guys, if you guys could like and subscribe, channel is growing slowly, but surely, hopefully in 2021, we get some more luck uh, with big hits and we can continue to grow the channel and... Uh, yeah, I continue, continue to make these videos for you guys because I really do love doing it for you. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe for me, please. And follow me on Instagram right here at Salute to Hoops as well. Uh, always doing some giveaways and showing off cards and stuff. So definitely cool to meet people, other people in the hobby via the social media too. So if you haven't done so already, do that as well. Um, I'm going to share with you guys some of my findings today from the card show. Uh, we have Jason Tatum joining us today. I actually found this Optic Rookie in one of my boxes, uh, which was a pleasant surprise. So I decided I would have him join in on the show and tell for what I got at the card show today. Perfect. Let's get into it. So we're going to start off with kind of the cards that I just thought were cool, like kind of PC-ish type deals. So uh, there's really nothing too memorable about these cards I'm going to show you. Other than the fact that I thought they were cool. So we got some uh, Carmelo Anthony. I believe these are 2006. Top's finest. Uh, the, and these were all a dollar each. You know, so like I said, there's nothing too special in here. Uh, but you guys know I'm a sucker for the, the Top's finest and the Top's chrome. So I had, to get, I had to get those for sure. Little Vince Carter, KG, Ray Allen action for the Top's chrome. Or sorry, Bowman chrome. All beautiful cards here. Love the Vince Carter. Uh, and that's, uh, I believe, this might be... Okay, it's Toronto Raptors. I thought it might have been New Jersey Nets Vince Carter, but it is, in fact, primetime Toronto Raptors Vince Carter. KG, legend Ray Allen. Super cool cards right there. Uh, I got this Vince Carter one as well. Uh, just for the fact that uh, it had the cool little Fleer NBA design on it. Uh, there's nothing on the back of it at all, so it's just kind of like um, a mem card, maybe, type deal, or like a gimmick card, but definitely thought it was cool for sure. Lo love the uh, Vince Carter kind of dunk on there, too, so cool little looking card. Little uh, acetate, um, uh, Allen Iverson here, definitely a dope card. Super old school looking. Love the early millennium type look to it. And then we got some more Denver Nuggets, Carmelo Anthony's for Topps Finest. Couldn't turn those down at all. Uh, Nuggets, Anthony is obviously uh, the Carmelo Anthony we all really remember, at least if you're like around my age anyway. So yeah, those were pretty cool. And let's get into the kind of the cards that uh, are like investment type deals. So uh, all these right here ended up being like 75 cents each. Uh, this Patrick Williams, I, I needed just to make it because it was like 15 cards for 10 bucks or something like that. Uh, I love Patrick Williams for the Bulls for sure. Uh, so I figured why not make him one of the cards. Little Mitchell Robinson here. Uh, Luminance rookie card. Super dope looking card for sure. And it's just got that kind of like simple clean look to it, which I really like. 
Uh, then we got some Isaiah Robies. Uh, little Bull Bull, Daniel Gafford, DeAndre Hunters, some Lucas Simonics, another uh, insert emergent prism for Lucas Simonic. And then I picked up this second year uh, Gilgis Alexander. I don't know what this parallel is called at all, uh, but I figured it's a second year and it was pretty dope looking card, so why not? It was less than a dollar might be some value to that i didn't even really look up comps i don't really like looking up like too many comps i usually know like kind of a like a frame of what the comps are on cards at least like you know better known cards uh, i don't like to be that guy that's just searching comps up the entire time when i'm at a show because i like to kind of enjoy it so moving on here uh these were all also a dollar a piece we got some josh okogi rookies here I'm waiting to see what he does in Minnesota. He's kind of lost in the sauce as far as their uh, rotation goes. That whole team is just a mess anyway, but um, I really like that guy's game, so I picked those up. Little Matisse Thibault Emergence, uh, Cam Reddish Instant Impact, and then we got some DeAndre Hunter Instant Impacts, as well as... All right, sorry for the cut in the video. My buddy was calling me. Uh, I don't know where it left off, so I think it might have been somewhere off the of DeAndre Hunters here. A little Lucas Simonic emergence, and then Lucas Simonic instant impact. So you guys know I'm a fan of Lucas Simonic. Really think the guy has some potential. Um, hopefully we see some more of him for San Antonio this year. A little Darius Bailey emergent as well. Uh, I just think that Lucas Simonic also is kind of lost in like where he fits in in the rotation because San Antonio... Has guys like Lonnie Walker and uh, Quindary Weatherspoon and Keldon Johnson all kind of holding it down, down there and really every spot that he plays in too. So another card that I thought was cool, you guys saw the Jordan rookie card that I was able to at least hold in at the uh, the show. I picked up just this Kevin McHale 1986. It's really nothing special whatsoever. Uh, cards in pretty rough condition also. But I've always wanted at least a, a piece of that 1986 Fleer collection. And this was just kind of rolling around in a dollar bin. So I picked it up for, for just, like I said, just a dollar. And nothing too special, but I, I get, it's not a Jordan or anything like that. Uh, but Kevin McHale is a legend in his own right. Uh, there's probably really no value to this, but it is pretty cool to at least own the piece of that 86 Fleer collection for sure uh next we got uh some more cards that i picked up here just some more luca uh some onyx uh some prisms and then the red white and blue these were all five bucks a piece uh which fall in line with the current uh comps on them on ebay so i wasn't too mad about spending five bucks a piece on them especially for the prism red white and blue if he turns out to be anything special at all it'll be a solid little investment Next, I want to show you guys the. I got all these for three bucks a piece. Uh, we got some Terrence Mann, uh, the blue optic here, which is super dope. Kids got some potential. Uh, Dante DiVincenzo select rookie card. And then some more Matisse's. Three Matisse optic uh, rookies. And then the pink Matisse Thibault as well. So. Not too bad at all. That was at the same table that I got like these just base Donruss rookies too. And then last but not least, I picked up 10 of these Isaiah Roby prisms. Uh, his cards kind of blew up the other day uh, for, I don't know if they're still kind of blowing up, but uh, he had a really good game. Um, he, he doesn't play for Dallas anymore. Obviously he plays for OKC, uh, but he, I think he had like 19 points uh, and that was kind of his first time playing some real minutes. So uh picked up these prism rookies of his uh for they were orig originally listed at uh four bucks a piece uh talked the guy down he gave them to me for three because i bought in bundle uh but i also did manage to get this uh red white and blue prism isaiah roby as well for three bucks so uh i think uh i just prior to making this video i looked this up online and these sell for about five or six bucks so I guess there's already a slight profit here, but I'll probably hold on to these for a little bit and see how he does this season. 
Uh, I didn't mind spending three bucks a piece on them at all. So hopefully it might be a positive uh, investment. I guess we'll see um, what the season has to offer. But uh, that's kind of it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, really enjoyed kind of going to that card show. I love showing off, um, showing you guys what uh, what I what I got at these things and kind of where my head is as far as investing in the in the hobby goes. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I got a little bit of sleeping up to do. Going to go to the gym and just kind of enjoy the rest of the Saturday. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, I got another video coming out soon for sure. Um, definitely waiting for hoops to come out. Hopefully, I think next week uh, for the new rookie class. And then I really want to tell you guys uh, the rookies that I like for this year and who I'm going to be investing in as far as this year's rookie class. So a lot of exciting stuff coming. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time and take it easy.